This is information about mindfulness meditation for people with colitis, Crohn's, and IBS. So in this recording, uh, I'm going to go over three different parts. Um, first, we're going to have information about meditation in general. It's um, If you're new to meditation, uh, a little bit of information to orient you goes a long way um, and makes this a much more uh, streamlined process for you, much less frustrating if you have just some basic information with someone that's uh, trained as experience. Uh, number two, we'll go into um, a guided 10 minute meditation together. And then number three, I'm gonna stop the recording and then uh, we can connect as a community for people uh, that have similar struggles with their digestive disorders. All right, so first things first, my name is Scott Rauer. I am trained as a clinical psychologist and a mindfulness meditation teacher, and I also have Crohn's disease. Uh, so this was a picture of me in my mid-20s, which is around when I got diagnosed with Crohn's disease. And uh, this was a kind of a difficult period of my life. Um, I uh, was in graduate school, and I got diagnosed with Crohn's disease, and I uh, was largely in denial for a long period of time there, um, and really just wanted to live it up like the rest of my friends were doing, with people around me. Um, and so I was eating a lot of things that I shouldn't been eating, like in this picture, <laughs> drinking a lot of alcohol, um, just generally not taking care of myself the way that my body really needed to be uh, taken care of. Um, Lots of steroids, medications, lots of bottles of Ensure, um, and lots of really hard, lonely, painful nights on the toilet. Um, There's a, a bunch of moments that really stood out. Uh, you know, I, I can't continue to live like this. Um, and it was only years later that I was looking at my medical records and my gastroenterologist. Um, had written in the notes, you know, clearly a stress connection to Scott's flares. Um, this was not something he discussed with me. If anything, he really was not uh, supportive of lifestyle change or di even diet change. Um, it was really about surgery and medications uh, with him. And so uh, in the 13 years or so since uh, that diagnosis, uh, this is me now. This is my little baby, and I've really come a long way um, into finding what is a stable base for me. Um, so almost all the time, I can uh, keep myself in remission from my Crohn's disease. I wouldn't call it a cure, but I'm very functional, and it's kind of a rare thing if my Crohn's flares up enough to really get in the way of my life. And I found, for me personally, that's come to three things, um, what I call the three M's. Um, moderated diet, medication, and mindfulness. And there's a ton of information and resources about the first two, but not nearly as much about the third one, especially for people with uh, Crohn's colitis or IBS. So that's why I'm here um, to help uh, provide the information that I, it took me quite a long time to figure out for myself. Um, but these are the three uh, stable uh, components of uh, what cr creates stability for me. If I don't have all three of these as a part of my daily life, I go down the toilet pretty quick. Um, so let's get into meditation. So if you aren't familiar with meditation, then there's a myth. It's a very, very common myth to fall into, uh, to get um, caught up in, I should say. And it is based on the idea that meditation is about quieting the mind, or what I would say is more accurate to say is stabilizing the mind. But quieting the mind works. It's a general way of talking about things. And so there's an assumption that we make. If the what we're after is to quiet the mind, then the how is that, okay, meditation is this practice about stopping my thoughts. And this is such a common um, uh, misunderstanding that it quickly will burn, will burn you out. If, that, if you're 
go about this to start to kind of turn inside, follow your breath. Um, and then in doing that, you're trying to stop thinking. Uh, you're going to make your mind the enemy and it's just going to wear you out. You're going to very easily start to think, you know, this just isn't for me. My mind is too busy. I can't do this. I'm not cut out for it. Um, and the reality is that we all have a very hard time stopping thoughts because it's impossible. So the idea that we want to work with our mind, not against our mind. Our mind secretes thoughts just like organs secrete enzymes. Uh, it's all a natural process, and thinking is a natural and expected part of meditation. Instead of trying to declare war with your thinking mind, what we want to do is understand things in a broader perspective. So your attention or your awareness can be at one of these three places at any one time. Your awareness or attention can be in your thoughts. It could be in your emotional experience or it could be in your senses, uh, your sense of sight, sense of hearing, sense of touch, and so on. Um, and so if our thinking or if our attention are, is in our thoughts, then it's very easy to go off in this virtual reality of thinking where we're planning for the future, we're kind of caught up remembering um, the past, and we lose touch with being present for our lives. We kind of um, can, can get dissociated or removed from the immediacy, the connection of our life. And when we're in our senses, our senses are a very useful um, gateway to presence because our senses, our sensing body um, is always immediately connected with this present moment. So we use that to help bring ourselves back home back home um, into our experience because the present moment is the only place you can really ever experience your life. You know, we can't really experience our life in anticipation or in fear and worry and regret. Then we're in a story about our lives. We're not actually present for our life or for the relationships in our lives. So, if we were to say that the essence or the art of meditation is to return and we start, you know, maybe by just collecting our attention and coming back into our bodies. And then eventually sooner or later, you're going to, your mind will take you away. And then you'll notice that at some point, and then you just very gently return very patiently with yourself. You return, you come back, to the breath or whatever the object of your meditation is and then you get taken away and then you return and then you return and it's just this very um expected thing that it's a normal part it's not a big deal that you're caught up in thinking but you just come out come back come back to your body come back to this present moment and so with that let's Take about 10 minutes or so to practice. So if you haven't already, I would say uh, to close any um, tabs in your browser, to silence your phone, to kind of move to a place where you are that you won't be disturbed or um, is relatively quiet. And so I'm gonna take, I'm gonna talk you through this step by step. And let's start off with your posture. If you're seated, you're just sitting upright and tall, letting the spine uh, be upright. So you're not leaning too far back into a cushion. You're not leaning too far forward, but just upright like you're paying attention in class. If you're laying down, just laying down flat and having um, the legs uncrossed, the arms laying at your sides. And let's just start with maybe three intentional, deep, long breaths. So breathing in, a pause at the top, and then a slow, intentional, long, deep breath out. Breathing in fully, a pause at the top, 
And the gradual, slow, long, deep breath out. One last deep, intentional breath in, inflating the body, a pause at the top, and then gradually letting the out breath release and just feeling that sense of letting go, feeling that deflating. And then if you'd like to continue a few more of these, feel free, but otherwise just let your breathing go back to its natural state, not trying to breathe in any particular way. And so when you're just noticing what it's like inside, you might become aware that there's some kind of gripping, there's clenching or tightness inside there in inside your body. I'm just feeling where that is without trying to change it necessarily, but just becoming aware of where that tightness in the body is. And if you'd like, then you can just soften from there. And then if we take the spotlight of our attention and place it above the eyebrows into the forehead, just feeling what that area feels like. And then softening here. Noticing what it feels like in the area around the eyes, all these muscles. Whatever sensations are present in this area, and then seeing if it can just soften, ease up. Feeling into the area around the mouth now, all the muscles surrounding the mouth. Noticing what it feels like, what experiences here that goes with having teeth and gums. What sensations are here that lets you know that you have lips and a tongue? Noticing the jaw. This muscle, this group of muscles that works very hard for us and often can be tight holding on to tension. So just seeing if it's possible to soften this area. And then moving down, just noticing what it feels like inside the neck and the shoulders. Obviously a classic place for tightness and tension. And just see if you can notice the subtle rise of the shoulders with the in-breath and the subtle falling with the out-breath. And see if you can just open up to that movement. See if it's possible to let that natural movement of the breath to just massage these shoulders into a softened state. Nothing to hold on to, nothing to resist, to just gently allow the muscles to loosen, to fall back and down, away from the ears. And then if we were to move the attention down into the belly, see what, what sensations, what experience is waiting for you right here inside this area of the body. Is there tightness? Is there pressure? Is there clenching? Maybe is there numbness, a, a lack of feeling? Let's see if you can be the curious observer of what sensation, what experience is right here if I quiet down and 
just zoom into the experience of this area of my body. And with each in breath, see if you can breathe into a softening belly. And each out breath, breathe out from a softening belly. And now if we just notice that just the natural process of breathing here that doesn't need to be controlled in any way, the, the breath as it does its natural thing just has a natural rise and fall effect on the body. You might notice it coming into the nostrils, you might notice it in the chest or the belly. And if you can't, maybe we're just placing a hand on the belly so you can connect with that experience. And for the rest of the next few minutes, let's just see if this can be the focus of our attention. The experience of the breath coming in and rising the body, inflating the body. and curious and engage with the experience of the breath leaving the body, the body deflating. And of course, it's completely natural if the mind wanders. Our only intention for these next couple more minutes is just to relax back open, to just be with this experience right here that's happening in this moment. Doesn't matter how many times the mind takes you away. We just pause, relax back open and allow ourselves to just engage with the life that's here right now. This experience of breathing in, this experience of breathing out. And it doesn't matter how busy the mind is or what's even going on in the body. As, as long as you're aware at some point, in some way, if you're aware that you're breathing in as you're breathing in, and if you're aware that you're breathing out as you're breathing out, then you're doing just fine. And then let's let go of our intention to stay with the breath and maybe just notice the sounds that are here right now. There's my voice, but there's also sounds that are happening in the environment you're in right now. There's maybe sounds coming from your breathing body. And just take a moment to, to pause before you move, before you move on to the next thing. Just see if you can just take in this moment right here as if it's completely fresh, completely new. Looking around, sensing this breathing, tasting, hearing body. And then I'm gonna stop the recording here and then we'll connect as a community and kind of talk about our experience from here.